So I asked some of you to send me your 3D models so that we could look at your LoRezes together and perhaps spot interesting things to talk about. Uh, and so some of you have graciously answered the call and have sent me a bunch of different LoRezes. So I want to thank all of you, first of all, for sending your LoRezes over for us to take a look at. Now, there is something that's actually very interesting to point out on this particular character specifically is um, the fact that around the pelvis, there actually is a few triangulation artifacts, as you can see. It seems as if some of these polygons, there's something wrong with it, or there's something wrong with the normal map at that particular location, right? That's kind of interesting. Um, and certainly, if we turn on the wireframe, we can see how uh, these kind of little dents over the surface, or uh, it's not quite quite clear how we can define those, but there clearly is something that is happening there uh, that doesn't look all that great. And those are triangulation issues. Um, and I think that these are triangulation issues that are compounded by the fact that this particular low rise is completely smooth. So there actually isn't any hard edges that have been used anywhere. Uh, so if we look over the surface of the character, you can see that everything is actually uh, completely smooth. And certainly in this particular zone, we can see the kind of shading that is happening here. Uh, the kind of shading that is happening because the surface of the lores is simply blending up from the pelvis here into this kind of cylinder that is kind of creating the spinal column of the character. But there is no separation, or rather, there is no hard edges there that separates the spinal column from the pelvis. And as a consequence of that, uh, this kind of shading is something that the normal map has to work against to fix so that what we wind up in the end is the impression of a very hard transition between the spine and the pelvis. So I actually think that this would have been better had there been a hard edge here that would have separated out the spinal column from the pelvis. This would have given a cleaner bake in the end, even if there is a hard edge, which is fine because we actually want there to be a very hard separation between these two objects in the end. Uh, and why would it have made these issues disappear? Well, because the shading here would not have had a bit of a gradient in there that the uh, normal map would have had to fight against. Um, and so just to give you an example here, right? Like if I actually take this mesh, okay? Uh, and let me just go ahead and let me just triangulate this particular mesh. And then let me export this out. Now you can see what like the result of the triangulation of this mesh has actually made these issues disappear. Um, now, there does seem to be a very slight amount of artifacting happening here, but I think that is simply the result uh, of the, uh, that's the pixelation, uh, quite simply, uh, that is visible because of the normal map that is applied over a smooth surface. Uh, but regardless, at this distance, we obviously can't see that. Um, but there is still a, a little bit, as we can see, a little bit of a trace of those polygons that is there. But for the most part, we've we've actually cleared out those kind of issues that we've uh, had before. So it means, what does this mean? Well, it means that the, um, the uh, triangulation, now that I have forced the triangulation within Maya, um, Marmoset has essentially respected that triangulation. Uh, but had I not triangulated the mesh, it's possible that Marmoset was actually triangulating some of these polygons uh, in the different and the opposite direction. Uh, and in the process, creating those artifacts that we have seen. But because I am triangulating the mesh here before I am exporting out, I'm making sure that in Marmoset, I'm winding up having the same triangulation as a triangulation that was used to be baked there. Um, so it's very possible that this was either baked within Marmoset uh, having previously been triangulated um, upon export, or it's possible that this was even baked in a different software entirely. I don't actually really know. Uh, but what I can point out, okay, is that if I take these edges that are there, if I remove them, okay, and if I connect these vertices in the opposite direction. Okay, let me just go ahead here and do a connect there. Let me take these vertices. Let me do a connect on those as well. And let's re-export this particular character out. Take a look at that. 
those problems are back. It's like we have this, this problem that is back right here just by flipping the diagonal over these polygons there. I mean, they are not triangulated, but that is pretty much the exact same thing. By flipping the D diagonal in the other way, we have created the appearance of these triangulation artifacts over the surface. And so once more, let me take these. Uh, I believe it was these two. Let me just remove this here. Let me uh, connect the vertices again the way that they were before. Let's re-export this out. And there you go, problem solved. So once again, triangulation, when it changes and you have a low res that is very smooth, uh, where the uh, the smoothness of the low res or the surface does not match well enough, essentially what is happening on the high res, you run the risk of having these kind of triangulation artifacts appearing. Um, this mesh would have resisted these kind of triangulation artifacts that we are seeing or that we have seen um, had there been a hard edge separating the spinal column here from the pelvis. Uh, had there been a hard edge there, the triangulation here could have flipped the way that it, it was flipping before. And uh, it's very likely that those artifacts would not have been visible there. But that is, uh, once more, one of those examples of triangulation artifacts that you really have to pay attention to uh, when you are creating a low res. All right, everyone, that wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and you can even turn on the notifications uh, with the bell icon that is there. So once again, thanks for watching. And until next time, take care.